Hello everyone, I got five jokes for you today. Two women find themselves standing on a bustling street corner, chatting idly while waiting for the traffic light to change so they can safely cross. As they stand there, they spot a man on the other side of the street making his way toward them. He's taking tiny steps, walking very slowly and carefully, as if each movement is causing him pain. The first woman, concerned, turns to her friend and says, Oh, look at that poor man. He must be suffering from arthritis. The second woman, not entirely convinced, takes a closer look at the man and replies, No, I don't believe it's arthritis. It looks more like bursitis to me. The two friends become engrossed in a spirited debate about the man's condition, each one more certain than the last that they are correct in their diagnosis. They continue to argue back and forth, neither one willing to back down from their stance. At last, the man reaches their side of the street, and the women, eager to put an end to their disagreement, decide to approach him. The first woman politely says, Excuse us, sir, but we couldn't help but notice that you seem to be dealing with a medical condition. My friend here is convinced you have arthritis, while I believe it's bursitis. Would you mind settling our debate by telling us which one it is? The man, slightly amused by the women's curiosity, decides to indulge them. He responds, well, you were mistaken when you thought I had arthritis, and your friend was also incorrect when she said I had bursitis. However, I must admit that I was wrong as well when I thought I simply had to fart. A newlywed sailor found out that he was going to be stationed on a remote island in the Pacific for an entire year. He was excited about the opportunity, but knew he would be a long way from home and would miss his beautiful new wife dearly. A few weeks after he arrived on the island, the distance and isolation began to take their toll on him. He found himself missing his wife more and more, so he decided to write her a heartfelt letter. My love, he penned, we are going to be apart for such a long time, and I already find myself longing for you. The days here are long, and the evenings can be quite dull. To make matters worse, the island is populated with attractive young native girls who are always around us. He continued, I'm worried that in a moment of weakness, I might be tempted. Do you think that if I had a hobby or some way to occupy my time, I could resist the temptation? His wife, understanding and supportive, promptly sent him a harmonica along with a note that read, Why don't you learn to play this? It will give you something to do in your spare time and help keep your mind off any distractions. Finally, his tour of duty came to an end, and he rushed back home to reunite with his beloved wife. Embracing her at their doorstep, he exclaimed, Darling, I've missed you so much. I can't wait to get you into bed and make passionate love to you. His wife returned his embrace and gently kissed him. Then, with a sly smile, she said, First, let's see how well you've learned to play that harmonica. A man walks into a cozy neighborhood bar after a long day of work, looking to unwind and have a couple of beers. He takes a seat at the bar and starts chatting with the friendly bartender. As he sips on his drinks, he starts to devise a plan to save a few bucks. After finishing his second beer, the bartender presents him with a bill for $9. The man feigns surprise and exclaims, but I already paid, don't you remember? The bartender, caught off guard, hesitates for a moment before saying, okay, if you say you paid, I'll take your word for it. The man smirks, feeling quite pleased with himself, and saunters out of the bar. Excited to share his newfound trick, the man tells the first person he meets outside the bar that the bartender can't keep track of whether his customers have paid or not. Intrigued by the prospect of a free drink, the second man rushes into the bar, orders a beer, and proceeds to pull the same stunt. Again, the unsuspecting bartender takes his word for it, grumbling to himself. Emboldened by their success, the second man goes out into the street and spots an old friend. He excitedly shares the secret to getting free drinks at the bar. The friend's eyes light up, and he hurries inside, eager to try it for himself. 
he sits down, orders a beer, and enjoys every sip. Meanwhile, the bartender has grown suspicious and frustrated with the recent series of events. As the friend finishes his drink, the bartender leans over and says, You know, a funny thing happened in here tonight. Two men came in, had a few beers, and neither of them paid. They both claim that they did, but I know better now. The next guy who tries that is going to get punched right in the nose. The friend, unfazed by the bartender's story, responds nonchalantly, Don't bother me with your troubles. Just give me my change. A man was sitting at the kitchen table, sipping his morning coffee and enjoying the quiet start to his day. Unexpectedly, his wife came up behind him and, with a look of fury in her eyes, slapped him hard on the back of his head. I found a piece of paper in your pocket with the name Mary Lou written on it, she accused, her voice shaking with anger. You'd better have a good explanation for this. The man, taken aback by his wife's sudden outburst, quickly tried to defuse the situation. Calm down, honey, he reassured her. Remember last week when I went to the dog track with my buddies? That was the name of the dog I placed a bet on. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. His wife, somewhat appeased by his response, let the issue go and the couple continued with their day. The next morning, as the man sat down to enjoy his coffee once again, his wife crept up behind him and smacked him on the head even harder than before. What on earth was that for, he demanded, rubbing the sore spot on his head. With a smug grin, his wife replied, Your dog called last night. Late one night, a man is speeding down an empty road. A cop sees him go flying past, so he chases him and pulls him over. The cop goes up to the car, and when the man rolls down the window, he asks, Are you aware of how fast you were going, sir? The man replies, Yes, I am. I'm trying to escape a robbery I got involved in. The cop looks at him disbelievingly and asks him, Were you the one being robbed, sir? The man casually replies, Oh no, I was the one who committed the robbery, I was escaping. The cop is shocked and surprised that the man has admitted this so freely. He says, So you're telling me you were speeding and committed a robbery? Oh yes, replies the man calmly. I have all the loot in the back. The cop is now starting to get angry and says, Sir, I'm afraid you have to come with me, as he reaches into the window to take the car keys out of the ignition. The man shouts, Don't do that. I'm afraid that you'll find the gun in my glove compartment. At this the cop pulls his hand out of the window and says, Wait here, as he returns to his car and calls for backup. Soon there are cars, cops and helicopters everywhere you look. The man is quickly dragged out of his car, handcuffed, and taken towards a cop car. However, just before he is put in the car and taken away, a cop walks up to him and says, Sir, this officer tells us that you had committed a robbery, had stolen loot in the trunk of your car, and had a loaded gun in your glove compartment. However, we didn't find any of these things in your car. The man replies, Yeah, and I bet that liar said I was speeding too.